what's going on so today what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you a little overview of the brain fpv radix flight controller but more specifically the graphical osd because one thing i um i've noticed there's a lot of people just kind of in the dark with what the graphical osd does what it can do and um what the capabilities are so i'm going to try to shed some light on that today so one of the coolest things about the graphical osd is that you can get the uh, spec spectrograph that you can get a real time spectrograph on the screen to show you where the noise is in your in your flight so you can land you can adjust your filtering you can do all of that stuff on the fly you don't have to plug it into beta flight and it's super easy to do i also want to show you the uh the stick uh overlay that you can put on there so you we, we've all probably seen the stick overlay i think uh ladrib's used this um but we've all seen the 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 black box stick overlay it's similar to that uh that you can just put straight in your osd which is pretty cool um so we're gonna dive deep into everything that you can do within the osd right about now all right so when you first you'll see the brain fpv logo and you'll see just a normal osd just like anything else you've seen first thing i'm going to do is turn my vtx power down since i'm just going to be sitting here all right so now you've seen let's show you this going into the osd you enter this just the same as you do any other beta flight osd you y'all left and then pitch forward then you it'll bring you into the osd menu so first and foremost we have the osd which is kind of cool you can go through here your altitude scale you can adjust the speed if you've got an, a, a gps on there you can see the speed uh, a lot of a lot of cool things you can go through here now you can also change your fonts to bold large default uh, i prefer mine bold now the show sticks is pretty cool this is this is what i was telling you you can adjust this with however mode you're flying so we're going to see what that looks like here in a moment but one thing this osd sync threshold if your osd flickers and i'm not talking as noisy it's just but it's just flickering if the quad is disarmed your OSD is flickering or rolling, try adjusting this OSD sync threshold. That can help most of the time. Then I have no idea what any of this other stuff does, so I never mess with it. So let's go here, let's take a look at the layout. So you see here, here's your stick layout. It was that easy to turn on and it's on the screen. So this is definitely useful if you're tuning, if you're using black box or if you have this this on while you're trying to review your footage again um, you can see at what level your throttle is so if you're getting a mid throttle oscillations let's say 60 percent throttle you can kind of just guesstimate in your head where it is but having it up on the screen definitely helps uh, and it works on both the throttle the yaw fucking yaw straight there's yaw then pitch and roll so it's definitely a cool feature so let's go through here. Let's go ahead and turn that back off because I don't like flying with that on there. All right. So another cool feature is this spectrograph, but we're going to get into that in a minute. So if we're going to show logo on arm, this is that Brain FPV logo that uh, that is on there by default. I'll show you what that looks like when I arm up here, when I arm here in a moment. Um, and then show pilot logo. That's going to be that pilot name in the OSD. So we're going to reset this. So there's the pilot logo where it says nobody. That would be whatever picture that you've uh, downloaded for it. So, all right. So what it's talking about, you see there it's got a logo when I arm it up. That's the logo on arm option. Show logo on arm right there. So it's on by default. I'll just leave it. Now the spectrograph is really what I came to show you. So let's take a look at that. And I'm going to save and reboot this time and just instead of just save and exit. If you do save and exit, sometimes it'll lock up and you have to restart it. But save and reboot. 
Now, instead of yawing left and pitching forward, we're going to yaw right and pitch forward and get our spectrograph up here. Now, you can see here how it's really noisy. This is just as it's sitting here, so don't take, you can't use this as a, a level for anything. I would recommend going to roll, pitch, yaw, any of them, and, uh, and flying on one of those it's it's much much better flying on a roll pitch or yaw than it is all three of those graphs moving so you're just gonna fly around you're just gonna look for spikes these are some crummy props so you can kind of see where some of these noise spikes are and you're not gonna draw and you're not gonna fly all crazy you're just gonna fly smooth just kind of normal. Cruise around, see where those no noise spikes are, but you're gonna to wanna to cruise around for a little bit because sometimes the noise, I've noticed on these boards, the noise settles down. So just fly around a little bit. That's why I said get the, get one of the uh, options, one of the screens that is a little clearer where you don't have all three of those graphs. And that big spike you've seen right there, ignore that. Those big spikes that go up and then go away, don't pay attention to that. But you see here, this is just not really spiking up real high. Just normal smooth flying. If I go up, the throttle. start smoothing out everything on your OSD you'll find it'll get quieter you see here it's flying pretty good not real super noisy now I don't see any big spikes after it's warmed up All right, so that is basically just how you fly with the spectrograph uh, enabled. So going through, you can cut through and you can scroll through and see the different screens, see where the high noise was. See here, you can see all of them side by side. If you try to fly around with this and you've got a lot of noise, it can be really distracting and very easy to miss something and crash worrying me just without having a lot of noise but basically you find out where those spikes are get back into it these spikes are so if I thought that I was you know if I had a big bad spike right there about the 300 mark on my yaw let's say okay 200 on my roll here okay so we see a little bit of a spike on 200 if we seen that constantly when we were flying what we would do is we would get out, go to our global filters, and what we would do is we would adjust this filter down to where that noise was. So you could either, you could adjust the low pass filter, the low pass filter too. I would just pick whichever one's closest to it. Um, so maybe, you know, maybe low pass filter. I start adjusting this up or even the low pass filter too. If you thought that there was noise here and it was quieter up higher. So you're just moving those two filters around to where you think, to where you think you can cover up that noise and any other noise. You're gonna have a lot of noise down low. Um, so you're gonna probably have a filter around 90 to 150 Hertz somewhere in there, probably. probably. Um, you can take that up to 200, it shouldn't hurt anything. You're gonna check your motors, see if they're hot. If they're hot, you're gonna take it back down. It's that simple. So you can do all of that in the OSD. No longer do you need to pull out the SD card, put it into uh, Black Box Explorer and do that. That was such a pain in the butt, but now you can do most of what you, we would do realistically uh, through our goggles now, just that filter tuning, which is, uh, is great. It's amazing and definitely a time saver. 
So that's all I've got for you today. I think the second time of shooting this has worked out much better. Uh, the first time, I don't know what happened. Cameras quit. So uh, that's it. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if uh, you thought this was helpful. If there's anything else you would like to uh, like me to, to touch on with the uh, any brain uh, FPV components or uh, any twin quad frame components, uh, just let me know if you want me to to highlight and show off any of those those things. So I'd be more than happy to. So. Leave comments, questions down below, and uh, thanks for watching.